Well, the biggest difference we've seen today is the wind really yeah. picked up. Yeah, the cloud cover has been coming in, but that noticeable south wind blowing in out ahead of that storm system. It's going to actually make things more favorable for some storms, but before that, it'll make it favorable for some drizzle and light showers in the morning. And that may be a negative toward later thunderstorms. We'll talk about that in a minute. Right now, we are tracking the midweek storm chances with this overall storm system to the west, throwing a lot of cloud cover our way. We've got clouds spreading in over most of the area. If you look closely, kind of underneath some of the higher clouds. You see these mid-level clouds that are striped showing up on the satellite. Those will show up as bands of clouds. You may see those move into the area before the sun sets. Those are just those ripples, kind of turbulent air that would be moving in ahead of the storm system as it approaches. That's all favorable in one sense to the development of storms. That's why we're in the outlook for severe weather. Slight risk area tomorrow. The farther west, not even the you might see it develop over you area. Farther east, it will likely start developing in scattered fashion. And then even farther east, that's where they'll reach the greater severity to the storms. And some of them will watch very closely because they'll more than likely where they develop rapidly intensify. But we are tracking the chance for, first of all, cloud cover and a little bit of drizzle or light rain showers late tonight into the morning. And then strong to severe storms later tomorrow. Now here's the catch. Cloudy skies that linger too far into the day tomorrow helps to kind of hold temperatures down and weakens the storm potential. That's really kind of the hinged area of what may or may not take place tomorrow because if we can't clear out, we're not going to see the storms redevelop. Either way, the front pushes through Wednesday evening and we should be cooler behind it on Thursday. You'll see this on KSNT Future Track. Tonight into the morning tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, but it's this little area of light rain shower and drizzle activity that moves through tomorrow through about midday. That's somewhat concerning for storm development because it kind of hinders the energy. It takes it away. It eats it up. And so there's not a lot of energy left for storms. And they try to get developed around 4 or 5 o'clock. And this may allow for most of the area to dodge the severe weather risk, as we'll see a couple of these storms reach severe level before exiting out. But far by, by far, the stronger storms will be over western Missouri, and then some cloud cover may return for part of the day Thursday. A look over west Topeka, mostly cloudy right now. With those clouds, we've got temperatures still reaching up into the 60s, 67 south-southeast winds at 22. Temperatures over most of the area in the middle to upper 60s, but it's that strong south wind that will be sticking around tonight into the daytime tomorrow as well. Your KSNT storm track seven day forecast scattered storms, windy and 75. Eastern counties stand the best chance for the afternoon and early evening storms. Then breezy on Thursday, a little cooler, 61, and even cooler for Friday with a high in the upper 50s. Low to mid 70s again by Sunday and Monday of next week. There's a look at some of the clouds over Milford Lake in Geary County from Rick Dykstra, as well as from Larry Fisher at Shawnee County, and some late night prairie burning near Barrington last night before the wind kicked up from Judy Henderson Bailey. Don't forget, you need to get geared up for severe weather season. We're kind of starting to see those early indicators that we're right about to that time of year. Have your weather radios on and ready to go. And if you need them <laughs> from Hy-Vee, Orchland Farm and Home and Walgreens, you can pick those up for $29.95. $29.95, not a bad deal. A great to peace of mind for that price. Absolutely. And you'll sometime later on in the year, yeah. you'll actually be helping. During the month of April, we'll be uh, look for that. We'll be doing some weather radio programming events. All right, sounds good.